over 60 shots. Damn, what have you done with my glass? This is something quite special. This is a glass wall that we can set up very quickly to protect buildings or a specific situation. I'll just show you the size because it's a bit hard to see it on camera. It goes up to here and there. And these are mobile elements that we created for summit meetings. We install it at the G7 and G20 summit and in court proceedings. The advantage is that you can get them easily in elevators. They are very light, uh, so easy to move and to set up. This construction is ideal for any situation where you need bulletproofing virtually overnight. Why did we hang up these two red helium balloons? Simply put, we want to see whether there will be spall or not. I'm not quite sure if there will be an attack today, but I can feel that something is brewing in the air and um, I'll get out of here. Yes, Chris. That looks like... Oh my god. Yes, I think we got quite a coverage on it. Over 60 shots distributed on your target. Uh, many shots very close together here too. Wow! <whistles> Hallelujah! Look. No bullet went through. Good. And it's splinter free. And that's very important. In a situation like this, people could be standing here and so no splinters should come off the glass. They could cause significant injuries. Damn, what have you done with my glass? <laughs> Looks like Swiss cheese. What is very important for me to mention at this point, simply because it's so violent, the gentlemen here are absolute professionals. They have spent their lives dealing with weapons. Frank is a shooting trainer for many decades, for well over 20 years. Thomas as well, he builds weapons. He's the owner of gun manufacturing company Schmeisser. And I should mention that this was rehearsed many times. Frank has put a lot of emphasis on safety. We had two hours of safety training and security briefing. This is definitely not something you should imitate. It is dangerous. It also has a realistic background. Yes, exactly. We have reenacted an attack on a panel discussion uh, or on a VIP event. And, well, thanks to the glass holding these uh, projectiles right here, uh, we naturally give the bodyguards and the security the opportunity to bring the VIPs and the people who are in immediate danger to the security uh, and to safety. Uh, if we did not have these extra seconds that your glass is able to obtain then yes this real situation would have resulted with serious injuries uh, if not worse 
I would like to also introduce your weapons. You all used different guns. Maybe quite interesting. Frank, what did you use? Yep. Yeah, I uh, shot an AR-15 from Thomas from Schmeisser. Um, it's basically an M4 with uh, the caliber 556. Uh, that's what we have here, so, as you can see. Okay, for you at home, that corresponds to resistant class BR-5. I also had the Schmeisser from Thomas, the AR-15 with the caliber 5.56. Okay, and um, you have the Kalashnikov AK-47? Yes, all empty. <laughs> I gave it my all. <laughs> How many fit in the magazine? 30. Wow. I do know the Kalashnikov can shoot around 600 bullets per minute. Yes, uh, we will be able to hopefully see on the video that this whole ordeal took less than 30 seconds and the actual shooting took even less. Uh, 30 seconds for roughly over 60 hits on the target is impressive. Uh, I would also like uh, to see how Thomas's projectiles did since he shot with soft iron core ammunition, which has a particularly high penetrating power. Uh, and it's relevant to mention that it is uh, not against the war weapon act but it has similar properties to bullets that do. Uh, since uh, this ammunition has a very high penetrating power it it has my point of view therefore also a high risk. Uh, the core of the bullet has a diameter of uh, just four millimeters and it is smaller than the mantle. Eventually the mantle comes off and the core is then able to work its way into the target and go deeper than the standard ammunition and that, that's the mean thing about this cartridge that even if you protect yourself with body armor this soft iron core, or for example a hard iron core ammunition, will definitely punch through the standard protective plate. Can you say that this is the standard ammunition of the former Warsaw yes, Pact countries? Yes, definitely. It's also currently the most available ammunition. Yeah, yes. Oops! Ah, one is gone. Ciao! Who will shoot it? <laughs> can you still yes, hit it? Yes, you can say that. Anyways, what a great scene. A real background. Thank you all for watching. If you found it exciting, please give us a thumbs up, especially to the professionals here who have made this possible with lots of preparation and always with safety in mind. If you want to see more, for example, when to use which resistant class or how different calibers behave, feel free to watch another video we made. I'll put the link in the description below. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Thank you. Ciao. Bye bye.